Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the multiplexer based circuit and here we have been given that the propagation delay of this 2 to 1 multiplexer is equal to 20 nanosecond while the propagation delay of the inverter is equal to 5 nanosecond. So here in this 2 to 1 multiplexer, the selection input as is set to 1. And for this configuration, here we have been asked to find how the output Y will look like. And for that, here we have been given the four options. So let us find out the correct option. So as you can see over here in this circuit, this output Y is connected back to the input side. So as you can see, it is connected as it is to the input number 0, while it is connected back to the input number 1 of the multiplexer via this inverter. So here we have been given that the propagation delay of this multiplexer is equal to 20 nanosecond while the propagation delay of this inverter is equal to 5 nanosecond and here we have been also given that the selection input as is permanently set to 1. So as you know in the multiplexer based on the selection input any one of the two inputs will get selected. So here since the s is equal to 1 so this input number 1 will get connected to the output side. So for this circuit and with the given propagation delay let us find out how this output y will look like. So let's say initially this output y is equal to 0. So the same 0 will also appear over here. And after the propagation delay of the 5 nanosecond, it will become logic 1 at this first input. And once again, after the propagation delay of the 20 nanosecond, the same 1 will also be available at the output side. So in the timing diagram if we see, then initially if this output y is equal to 0, then it will become 1 after the 25 nanosecond. That is the propagation delay of this inverter as well as the multiplexer. That means after the 25 nanosecond, this output y will become 1. So once again, this same 1 will also appear over here. And after the propagation delay of the 5 nanosecond, the output of this inverter will become 0. And as you can see, after the propagation delay of this multiplexer, this same 0 will also appear at the output side. That means once again, after the total propagation delay of this 25 nanosecond, once again, the output of this multiplexer circuit will become 0. That means this time is equal to 25 nanosecond. And once again, the same sequence will get repeated. That means after the 25 nanosecond, the output of this multiplexer will change. So as you can see, this output Y is the square wave. And this time, is equal to 25 nanosecond and this off time is also equal to 25 nanosecond that means if we see the time period of the square wave then that is equal to 50 nanosecond so we can say that here this t is equal to 50 nanosecond or from this we can say that the frequency of the square wave is equal to 1 divided by 50 nanosecond that is equal to 20 megahertz so we can say that for the given logic circuit, this output y is the square wave of the 20 megahertz. And therefore, for the given question, this b is the correct answer.